So CineCheck Toolset Pro is a software that allows you to script connections between your joystick and your different uh, simulators. So I've tried to mimic the actual train here. So I have the brakes here and I have the throttle on this side and you can see here as I pull down it controls it. You simply just push quickly you can see the information and then you can when you release it's gone and that kind of forces you to know this right speedometer forces you to actually look at the real controls on the train and it's really great. I can click to look down so it allows me to look quickly and see you can see I can see myself moving the different throttle here and when I let go, it goes back. For Arma 3, when you're flying a helicopter, it's fine. You look straight ahead. But the whole thing is you want to be able to look down as you come to land on the ground. So it's very intuitive. So I have a key sequence that when you click, it goes down. So you can kind of see the ground. And when you release, it goes back up. So it allows you to connect a joystick to a simulator that does not natively support joysticks. Or when you kind of need detailed control that a simulator does not give because our system allows you to script a specific events for your simulator. Um, so number one, after you download this program, you'll have the following files on your computer. Now you can put this in any directory uh, you want, just zip it to desired folder, and, uh, and then just simply run uh, simicheckpro.exe. Now there are some assets that get uh, downloaded with it. If you don't have the assets folder, just click install, but uh, normally we do include the assets folder uh, as well. Uh, the first time you might get a security uh, confirmation from Windows, you can just accept that. Now the way it works is first you choose your config. So that is all of the CSV files which exist on your computer. So you can see here in the folder I have Arma 3, that's uh, scripts I use for the Arma 3 helicopter. I have Train Simulator 2018 and Train Simulator World. So you can just drop down and click choose the Train Simulator or the Flight Simulator you want to work on. So I'm going to do TS 2018 right now. Now the reloads the window and now you have all of the profiles that exist within that uh, CSV. So a config tends to be created for a specific simulator and that way you can group similar events together. And then profiles are kind of variations within that simulator. For example, maybe you have a different airplane or a different helicopter within Flight Simulator. You want to have one config for Flight Simulator but then you want to have different profiles for that Flight Simulator. So in this case today, we're going to go through a class 43 uh, train that we're going to do. So I just choose class 43. Now you can see below, it shows you all of the different events which were defined in our CSV. And it only becomes active when you actually check the active uh, button. Now below we have recent, and this shows you the recent keys that have been fired based on what your joystick did. So in here, if I click on one of my buttons, you can see that it's actually pushing five up, uh, F4 up and five up at the same time. It's running those commands. Now below that is joystick status. So this shows you all of the different joysticks which are connected to your simulator. For example, if I go to joystick number six and then I click on buttons within my joystick, you can see I see buttons one. So I know I'm dealing with joystick number six, button one at that point. So just click down and up and browse through the different joysticks that you have connected to your uh, simulator. Next we have logs. You can click this and this will open up a full log that just gives you a lot more detailed activity of what's going on with SimuCheck Pro. You can click on detect. Now this will let you, when you're firing different keyboard commands, let's say we're using train simulator, we want to shift into gear. You can hold it and kind of define your notches. And then you can look here and see how long we pushed the keyboard for. So this lets you create your script. Also for more complicated commands like the apostrophe, um, this it's nice to know what VK uh, command it is or scan code. And you can use these scan codes within your uh, game. Um, next we have config. Now depending on which CSV you have loaded up here, when you click on config, it will open up uh, the spreadsheet of that specific uh, CSV. So here I'm opening up with LibreOffice, which is a great program. Now you can see within here, now I have all my commands. Now what's nice is you freeze your commands on here. So watch, let me go freeze. So you can see, so now when I scroll down and up, I'll still always have my joystick button and button next to here, joystick number and access button here with the name 
and uh, the command, etc. So this screen you would now create your entire script from. Now, if you download Toolset Pro, you'll get a lot of profiles. So you can just kind of copy what I already have and make your own, or you can create your own from scratch. And it's very simple. You just go to the bottom of the list. You start a new profile name. Now remember the profile name matches here. This is the profile name. So whatever you create here will automatically appear up here. Then you create a name. This is just for you to know. And then you say what joystick number. So you get the joystick number from here. See number four in this case. And then you put the access or button. So if I was pushing a button here, and then here I see six one, in my script, I would put joystick number six and button number one. But if I was using an axis, you can see, so here you can see I'm sliding an axis. You can see joy Z, the, the numbers are changing. So then I would just come here to my script and I would put in joystick number is still six, but this would be joy Z. So that's how you would define it. Now next you want to choose which command. Now you just come to, go to simucheck.com, click on tool set, and then scroll down to the API section. And you can see here, this defines how to use all of this. Now, if you're using the open source version, you would use this, but if you're using tool set pro, which is a lot easier and it helps to support me here in my community, I'm trying to start, you can just literally copy these lines into your spreadsheet. So you can read through about all of the different APIs that are there and I'm trying to kind of keep this updated as well. Now when you're ready to go, you simply just checkbox the active button and now all of these keyboard commands are firing into the game. So I usually just move it to the side here and we get started with the train. So normally you would use the keyboard A for throttle one, throttle two, three, four, five and you would hold a D to go back down to zero. So what we actually need to do is just figure out how long to hold the key for. So come over here and push detect. This opens up the detect program. So now I'm just going to push A for first notch and then look over and see that took 109 milliseconds. So because there's five notches and 100 each, you would make a script that goes A hold for 100 milliseconds or 109 milliseconds and then release A. So here's our script. We have a class 43 train. The throttle is using joystick one. The axis is joy X. In our case, that's this. This is joy X. Then the command is gonna be access keys notches. So in our case is when we move the axis, it's going to run notches of commands. So in this case, it's A down, sleep for 140 milliseconds and then A release. And then I have a sleep 100 milliseconds between. Now this is the keys down column. There's also a keys up column, which is the opposite. So that goes D down, sleep for 140 milliseconds, and then D up. Anyway, we have many more other videos that kind of show, show you in depth of how to use all these commands in depth. That just goes through in general. So I've tried to mimic the actual train here. So I have the brakes here. And I have the throttle on this side, and you can see here as I pull down, it controls it. So I can use this to actually push it the direction forward, and you can see the train gets rolling. Now I also have set up this one button here. You simply just push quickly, you can see the information and then you can, when you release, it's gone. And that kind of forces you to know this right speedometer, forces you to actually look at the real controls on the train, and it's really great. Now I also have set up, I can click to look down, so it allows me to look quickly and see, you can see I can see myself moving the different throttle here, and when I let go, it goes back up, so that kind of gets you back in the game. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to switch profiles. We're now gonna use Arma 3, the helicopter simulator and Arma 3. So I simply come here and I'm choosing another CSV file. So I'm not using Train Simulator 2018, now I'm using Arma 3. So I click that, it reloads the window, and now we can choose our uh, profile. So in this profile I have all big heli and small heli. I'm gonna use the small heli right now. And I'm now gonna activate it. For Arma 3, when you're flying a helicopter, it's fine, you look straight ahead. But the whole thing is you wanna be able to look down as you come to land on the ground. 
So what I need is when you get close to the ground, I need to click a switch and it angles myself down so I can get a good angle of the ground. And when I release, it goes back up. So the, you do have number pad two, will actually let you look down like this. But obviously when you're flying, it's too confusing to click up and down and you kind of get lost, right? That we just have to push click down then we can release and it goes back up. So it's very intuitive. So I have a key sequence that when you click, it goes down. So you can kind of see the ground and when you release, it goes back up. Now, thank you so much for your support. And by joining our annual paid subscription, it really helps me financially to devote more time into SimiCheck and I can then create more solutions for you so we can have a deeper immersion into our simulators together.